Hey everyone, how's it going? So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top 5 iPad apps that I think every student should know about. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're going to be using your iPad for schoolwork, you want something to be able to take notes on. So the first app I have to show you is called Course Notes, and it helps you do just that, um, just like the title of the app suggests. It's just for uh, taking notes. So I'll just go ahead and kind of show you just around the app and just some different features about it. So you can create different subjects within the Course Note application. And what I really like about this app is that you can have obviously a bunch of different notes, uh, but it really helps you organize them really well. There is a bunch of different options for customizing things, uh, like highlighting for certain subjects. Um, I'll just overlay this in the video so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, you can take your notes on here. You can even um, add an attachment. So if you have a, a diagram that you need to draw or uh, a picture you need to insert right from your camera roll, you can do that as well and draw right on there or insert the picture into your notes. So uh, then once your note's done, uh, you can even export it to your Dropbox. You can share it with another device. Uh, you can print it, anything like that. So. The first real essential app that you um, is mandatory in my opinion is something uh, that you can use to take good notes on and I think that uh, the Course Notes app is uh, a really great app for that. So uh, this app is available in the iTunes store for I believe a $3.99 uh, but I'll double check and uh, put it in the description below just so you uh, know the actual price. So the next app that I have to tell you about uh, is basically an app to help you uh, annotate and customize all your uh, PDF files that you may get concerning school. So a lot of teachers nowadays are posting notes online um, and they're also posting uh, practice exams and assignments and things like that. So what this app really allows you to do is uh, to be able to write on them. So that's something that I was uh, looking for. It took me a really long time to find something uh, that worked really well, but I did find something. Um, I had a chemistry midterm a couple weeks ago and uh, the professor posted um, some sample exams uh, online so I downloaded those and instead of wasting paper printing them off I just wanted to be able to view the PDF on my iPad and just be able to write in my answers right on there. So I did find this app, uh, it's called Goodreader, you might have heard of it before. So I'm just going to go uh, ahead and show you some cool features uh, with this app. So in the app, it allows you to have different folders so you can easily organize all your school files uh, depending on how you like to do that. So I just have a school folder right now because I haven't uh, got into the app too much. I just needed it for uh, one exam so far, but I really plan on using it a lot. So uh, like I said, you can have different folders uh, set up to organize all your things. Uh, you can have the original PDF files. You can... Um, uh, you can manage your files easily. You can uh, uh, import your PDF files in many different ways to get them on there. You can, and then you get into the actual uh, annotations of the PDF files itself. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like prior to um, writing all of your, your PDF files. So here's just an example of uh, my chemistry sample exam. Uh, so this is what I had um, prior to this app. So then once importing it in here, uh, you co it comes with a lot of different features, um, obviously different lines, different shapes, different text sizes, um, highlights, and many, many more options as well. Um, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like now uh, as the annotated version. Uh, it's pretty simple and I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration uh, overlaid on the video just to show you how uh, the actual annotation works just to show you that a little bit better. So right now, um, as you can see, you just um, you can section off the parts that you want to write on so you can uh, get really specific and get really detailed uh, right into the page, uh, zoom right in so that you save space so you don't have to worry about uh, writing too big or anything like that. So that's basically what you're seeing now um, and that is one of the main features that I really like about this app. Um, also, uh, when you're done, uh, you can just save. You can save the original and the annotated version, so your original document doesn't get destroyed. Um, and then you can also send that new annotated file uh, via PDF files 
uh, and many uh, more options like that. So this is a really essential app that I think everybody uh, should have if you're in the case of uh, taking notes and trying to uh, annotate them and add your own things uh, and take uh, practice tests and everything right on uh, your iPad. So Goodreader uh, is available in the App Store for I believe $4.99. Uh, but like I said before, I'll put the uh, price in the description below. So the next app that I have that I think is essential for all students basically revolves around practicing uh, your things like your, your equations and your math and your calculus and your chemistry and everything like that or if you just uh, if you work better writing physically out your notes uh, but you want to do it in a digital way. So uh, this next app that I have is called a penultimate and what it basically is is just a huge uh, tablet surface for you to write on um, and you can write notes, you can change the pen color, um, you can crop things and uh, move things around, uh, it's, you can um, change to different uh, types of paper so you can have graph paper, or line paper, or plain paper, um, you can also um, insert photos and uh, all in all you can export all your files to PDF uh, and email them out and maybe print them off um, whatever you choose to do with that um, the basic thing that I use this app for is to instead of wasting paper writing out um, math questions and things like that if I'm just practicing for a test or an exam what I like to do instead of like I said, wasting paper, I'll just go on this app and just write out everything right here on my iPad and then I also uh, can save that easily. So if I want to go back uh, and look at it, I just have it right here on a file. So that is really uh, the biggest thing that I really do like about this app uh, is just the big um, writing surface and the ability to export um, and take your notes with you anywhere. So that is Pen Ultimate, and it is available in the App Store, I'm pretty sure, for free. Uh, when I got it, it wasn't free, but I believe it is now. Uh, but just to double check, I'll uh, put that info in the description below as well. So the next app that I have that I encourage all students to uh, think about uh, would be Pages for iPad. Um, and what that is, if you didn't already know, it's basically the Microsoft Word of Apple. So they have the, the Pages app right on um, like your MacBook or your iMac and things like that. So that, that's Apple's version of Microsoft Word. Um, so I got it here on my iPad. Uh, you can also get Numbers and Keynote, which are the spreadsheet and um, kind of like PowerPoint slide uh, applications as well. But I just have Pages on here. Uh, so what I really um, like about Pages is just the simple fact of a word uh, processing uh, software on your iPad. So you're going to get those times where you need to write a paper or uh, you're trying to type up your notes but you don't want to take your laptop with you. You're going to want to have uh, something that you're able to do those heavy uh, heavy duty word processing things on and Pages is a great app for that in my opinion. Um, you can have different fonts, different text sizes, colors, uh, it's really customizable. Uh, you can add charts and graphs and tables and different pictures and images, uh, change the alignment. It's really a really great um, application for the iPad uh, and everything um, that I've been saying in uh, kind of reviewing for all the previous apps is the ability to export your documents because really um, in the end when you're doing schoolwork and things you want to be able to save them uh, and have a copy somewhere else or you want to print them off so exporting your all your documents is really an important thing so that's what I really look for in apps and this um, app is really great for that as well so when you're done of a Word document uh, you can share, you can email the document uh, you can open it in another application, uh, you can copy it to your iTunes, uh, and even when you're emailing the document, you have the option to export it as um, a Pages file, so you can edit it on your Mac. Uh, also, you can export it as a PDF or a Word file, so depending on what kind of software you have on your computer, uh, you can kind of cater to that as well. So that's another thing that I really like uh, about the Pages application. And I believe this is uh, $9.99 in the App Store. Once again, I will leave all that information uh, in the description below. 
So the last app that I have to show you is basically something to keep you organized and keep you together and on track of all your assignments and on task uh, ultimately. So uh, this last app is uh, Protaskinote. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, but what it is is basically a huge uh, to-do list application, um, which I think is really great. Um, I do like the reminders application that are on uh, the iPad uh, at the moment, but this one is really like an in, a more in-depth version of that, uh, so I really think it's worth uh, the buy. So what you can do with this is obviously you can create uh, many different to-do lists, and you can, uh, you're able to highlight things, you can change the priority, uh, you can set due dates, um, you can even uh, export your to-do lists and print them off, uh, which is another great feature that I really do like about this app. So if you want something to digitally uh, remind you of things and keep you on task, uh, this is definitely a good app to look into. Um, and I'm not sure of the price on this one, but I'll be sure to link it in the uh, description below. So that is basically it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, suggestions to make for future videos, leave those in the comments below. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at OrganizedBlake. You can check out my website at OrganizedWithBlake.com. And you can now follow me on Pinterest at Pinterest.com slash BlakeG28. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.